India is facing a complex set of uh, challenges, public health challenges that requires a multifaceted uh, approach. We have a major problem related to air pollution. The exposure to air pollution is one of the highest in the world and is contributing to both communicable and non-communicable diseases. 1.7 million deaths in India could be attributable to air pollution in 2019, uh, which is around 18% of the total deaths in India. Over time, the household air pollution has been decreasing in India, but the ambient outdoor air pollution has increased. When we talk about the economic impact of air pollution, we measured it in terms of lost output due to uh, premature deaths and morbidity attributable to air pollution, which amounts to around 1.4% of India's GDP. That amounts to almost 36.8 billion US dollars. And we have uh, variations across the states, both in terms of the health impact and also the economic impact of air pollution. My vision for India's future health encompasses of equitable and universal access to quality health care so that every individual enjoys good health and well-being. The global burden of disease study in India is playing a very important role. India is a vast country where most of the states are even bigger than some of the uh, uh, countries in the world. So only having the national level estimates would not be useful for planning purposes. What we need is the information about uh, the burden of diseases in every state of India and how it varies by age groups and also by male and female. One example how the GBD India findings have translated into health interventions in India uh, is uh, I would uh, say the district level findings on the neonatal mortality rates uh, that were estimated as part of uh, the GBD work in India have received high level policy attention. <laughs> When we talk about the uh, malnutrition indicators in children, low birth weight is the biggest contributor to child death followed by child growth failure. And it is important to note that the burden of child overweight is increasing in almost every state of India. These subnational findings on the trends of the malnutrition indicators on maternal and child have led to vibrant debate on how these findings can be used to inform uh, the policy and these are also very useful in monitoring the progress uh, in the uh, malnutrition indicators and for the planning of the policies for more effective control of uh, malnutrition in India. Going forward from here, I am very much interested in expanding my research areas. I want to work on understanding the disease burden among the older people in India, uh, which is the fast growing uh, percentage uh, currently. And also I want to expand my work looking more at the uh, district level estimates of different diseases and risk factors for which we have enough data available in India risk factors that contribute to the non-communicable diseases, particularly cardiovascular and diabetes. I want to build my skills further in the GBD methods and uh, the data. And uh, with time, I would like to take up leadership roles and contribute effectively to the GBD India work.